Hi guys, welcome to Ace of Tech Academy. In, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you about HTML history. So, HTML is not a new language. It's descendant of HTML. That means, HTML is derived from HTML. There are few other markup languages also. They are GML, HTML, XML, and XHTML. Let's know about them. In brief. So as you can see this structure SGML was parent GML was parent of all the markup languages and then SGML is descendant of GML. Now SGML has two parts one is HTML, XHTML, HTML5 and in, on other side XML. So let's see about GML. GML or generalized markup language is the highest level of markup language and parent of all markup languages. IBM had developed this language around 1960s. Charles Godfart, Edward Mosher, and Raymond Lorry were the main developers of this language. Since SGML was a complicated and bulky language which was difficult to work and maintain, newer version was launched called SGML. You have already known about GML. In the GML, presentation as well as the structural aspects were mixed, and that's why it was complicated. But in 1980s, it was decided that markup should be focused on structure, structural aspects of a document, and leave the visual presentation of that structure to the interpreter. And that paved the way for creation of GSGML standard generalized markup language. It was SGML in which document type definition or DTD or schema was introduced. DTD allowed developers to create and use any markup they wished. SGML became so popular and standard that many other markup languages are derived from it. SGML was promulgated as an international standard by International Organization for Standardization ISO 8879 in 1986. SGML now, it was popular, but many found it cumbersome and difficult to learn because of its design pattern. Further improvements were made and that led to the creation of HTML and XML. XML XML is a hardware and software independent markup language which is used to storing and exporting data. XML was developed by World Wide Web Consortium in committee in a committee created and chaired by John Mosher. The prime aim of launching XML was to simplify HTML by focusing on document structure. XML is direct descendant of HTML and is a meta language like HTML which allows users to create any custom tag needed and that is why it's called extensible markup language. XML removed many of the complexities which HTML had. XML is now widely used for communicating data between applications. XML data is stored in plain text format. In XML, custom text can be used, for example, book, book, title, and then title close, author, and then author close. If you remember, in HTML, writing this kind of text is not allowed. Only HTML has predefined tags which you have to use and you cannot create any custom tag. But in case of XML, you can create your own custom tags. Now, let's see a brief history of HTML. 
HTML CAMP in 1991, HTML Plus in 1993, HTML 2.0 in 1995, HTML 5 in 2012. Now, let's see a brief history of HTML. Team Berners Lee's British scientist who invented HTML around in around 1990 and 1921, born 8 June 1955, and Tim Berners Lee is still alive. He was working at Sir Laboratory at Geneva. He felt the need of sharing documents among different scientists around the world. He started with very limited computers for all of his purpose, but in 1993, Mosaic Communication, later Mosaic Word, renamed as Netscape communication, Net Communications made available for public. When HTML was launched, there were only 18 tags. You can imagine how uh, few tags that uh, there were at that time. So hardly anything could have been done. And the, <coughs> those were A, address, base, DD, DI, DL, DT, HI, and etc. In HTML 2.0, several important tags like HTML body, IMG, head, BR, form, input, table, etc. were added. HTML 3.2 became the first W3C recommendation, recommendation version. HTML 5 is the latest version of HTML. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.